Hey everyone, Gizmo Magua here, and this is the Floor 180 Boss Guide for Palace of the Dead. I have been working at this for a very long time. Please like, share, and subscribe, and follow me over at twitch.tv slash gizmomagua1027. Uh, this perspective is from a machinist playthrough, and uh, hopefully it'll help you in your future endeavors. So to start out with, there is a little bit of commentary that I want to put in here for things that you probably want to do. Make sure that, you know, as a machine as you have your second wind up, a super potion up as well. And also make sure you have a very nice healthy supply of sustaining potions. And then the macro for the transformations to take them off. As I'm a controller player, it is easier to hit this button and to use this macro, which is easy to set up. And throw it up. Put it on a button and you'll be ready to get rid of that succubus transformation at the right time. I've lost many a runs before I did this macro to accidentally clicking things off the wrong way with the controller. Because it's very clunky with the controller otherwise. Without further ado, let's get into the guide. So this is Dendeyansan, the level... 180 floor boss for palace of the dead make sure you have a strength and a steel up for the whole fight especially at the end where you got to burn he's going to start off with a thunderbolt just dodge out of it make sure you got your sustaining potions going make sure you also have food buff going then he's going to throw out these twister tornadoes called charvidus now the initial aoe is going to be circular and then when they pulse the aoe is a little bigger Make sure that you try to run these on the east side and then west side, or west side then east side, however you want to try to set it up, so that you have a safe side to go to when he starts to do this move right here. So you want to set these twisters up on the north, or on the east and west sides, as I'm doing right here in the video. So, I always do two, he'll go two, then three. But he's going to always do Thunderbolt in between on these uh, transitions. So for the most part, you just want to try to build yourself up, whittle him down to about 20%. On Machinist, you want to also make sure that you have full gauge when you get around to that point. So that when you get to the end of the fight, you can burst him. Always make sure to pop your sustaining potions in this fight. Always keep that buff going. You don't want to get uh, you know, low on healing. Uh, so otherwise, we're going to just kind of continue doing this fight. And I'm going to speed it up to about the last 20-25%. And then that next part is going to become very vital what happens. So I've got him do it down to about 20%. With about 21%. So I'm going to get the last couple hits in here. And then I'm just going to stop attacking, stop auto-attacking, stop everything. And what I want to do is I want to try to kind of just get ready to transform into the succubus. And I want to get the five stacks on him. So I make sure that I pop a sustaining potion before I transform. And now I just try to get the, po or the stacks on him. With the five stacks, getting the five stacks on should bring him right around 15%. A little higher than 15%. What you want to do is you don't want to push him past a certain point. It's I think it's right at 15% where he will start doing Ecliptic Meteor, which is what the Floor 80 boss does, but he casts it a lot faster, and it does a lot of damage. It's, it's percentage-based. I think it's 90% of your health, so you really want to be careful. So now that you've got him right around that 15%, you use that handy macro, take off that succubus, pop another rehab potion, and then once you get him in the Charvidus, start bursting him down. Do everything you can, as much damage as possible. Make sure you got that potion going, otherwise you might not make it. So you go ahead, throw the damage out. I you know, try to get everything out, and what happens is I end up actually popping second wind, and I was trying to pop the super potion as well to make sure that I survive, and I did. And that's how you take it down. That's how I took it down. Now, I will admit I got very lucky, but, you know, there are, you know, as more time goes on, the better I can refine doing this method. Anyways, good luck with your attempts, and hopefully I'll get to the 190 boss here shortly. 
Stay hydrated, all. Bye.